वेलकम टू पिट स्टॉप सो दिस इज एक्चुअली द बेस्टेस्ट क्लाइमेट इन डेली आई हैव एवर एक्सपीरियंसड इन द एनसीआर रीजन इदर इट विल बी टू कोल्ड और एल्स इट विल बी टू हॉट टू हैंडल इन द एनसीआर बट दिस इज एक्चुअली द परफेक्ट टाइम इन केस इफ यू आर विजिटिंग डेली नॉट uh about the climate is what i'm going to talk about i'm going to talk about what we are driving today this is the uh, new grand cherokee this is what we are driving today and i'm going to tell you five super cool things about the jeep grand cherokee like you know the positives and the negatives will be there in these five points so welcome to pit stop please do subscribe to our channel and also hit the bell icon so that you will get all the notifications and please follow us on facebook twitter and instagram let so first point is obviously about the design so i am a big fan of this design actually because uh, the jeep grand cherokee has its own vibe and you know charm and that huge road presence because it's a huge car it's like almost 5 meters in length and it offers close to 3 meters in wheel base so that means you get acres of room inside as well so it's quite a big car actually but what we have here in india is the jeep meridian which is actually a smaller jeep grand cherokee in terms of design so the meridian is actually a lovely vehicle but in terms of uh, when you consider the indian part those who don't know about the cars and those who don't notice much about the cars when they actually see the grand cherokee they mistake it for the jeep meridian that is one point but if you take a closer look you can understand that this is actually a much more bigger car in terms of all dimensions and uh, actually i'm a fan of the design but the only part about the design which i want to make is that uh, the people will mistake this for the jeep meridian that's the only part but apart from that i love the macho design i love the road presence i love the way that the jeep grand cherokee looks So second point is obviously about the interiors and in my opinion it's actually super cool it gets all black interiors it gets actually four screens at the front one for the passenger one for the infotainment overall and one for the instrument cluster and the fourth screen is this one with a super cool uh, crystal clear rear view camera view right up here so you can actually change this into a mirror as well and you can make this as a screen as well so it's like super cool feature and then you get the ventilated heated steering wheel option right here which makes the steering wheel a bit warm that means on long drives you will feel a bit fresh and you know energetic and also you get seat coolers and seat heaters as well for both the front seats so it's quite spacious super cool interiors in my opinion and uh, another part is that you get in the screen you get a couple of off road options like vehicle dynamics which will show you the steering angle and the transfer case status accessory gauges and pitch and roll angles like how many degrees it is is it going on select terrain option and then a forward facing camera for off roading purposes as well so about the second row of the grand cherokee i would say that this is not the best uh, position in the grand cherokee because under the support is not the best and the overall comfort on the seats uh, could have been improved is what i personally feel like but apart from that nice view up front and you get a panoramic sun roof as well and super cool things about the second row is that you get seat heaters right here and a couple of usb and c type charging ports not just that you get a 230 volt ac socket as well that means you can charge your laptop or any small appliances with this power plug so the best part about not offering a third row is humongous boot space g it uh, around 1076 third part the engine you get a 2 liter turbo petrol engine which makes 268 bhp of maximum power and 400 newton meters of torque made it to an 8 speed set of gearbox so that is actually a pretty smooth engine and a gearbox combination but what i feel like is that jeep india you can have this much when a v6 or a v8 engine okay is what i personally feel like So fourth point is how good it is to drive. Actually, it is butter smooth. The setup at speed is very smooth. You will enjoy driving the car. But one thing strongly which you feel is that why they didn't give even at least a V6 engine. They could have given a V6 or V8 engine for the size of the car and for the brand it holds, the Grand Cherokee, right? Uh, and especially even though it is a two liter engine, it will give you a pretty less mileage like you know less something below 7 km or 8 km per liter so that doesn't suit the size of the engine so if it is a v6 or v8 
we would be happy you know of um, getting that sort of mileage but being a 2 liter four cylinder engine we expect it to be our mileage and for the size of the car really 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 at least a v6 is required is what i feel like but apart from that pretty easy to drive you get adas features and stuff so super cool 78.5 lakhs you actually get a lot of an suv right because as being a jeep brand you don't need to mention how cool uh, the ability of this machine is off the road this is a super cool macho suv which is truly capable it has got decent ground clearance decent height and approach and departure angles are pretty decent but you don't really use it for hardcore offering right but still being a jeep brand it is a fully capable suv and the only point which i feel personally is about the engine capacity they could have given a bigger engine but apart from that for 78.5 lakhs this is actually best of both worlds if you don't want as hardcore uh, something as hardcore as the wrangler then you can go for the grand cherokee but if you want more luxurious things like the x5 or else the gle or something like that you can go for other brands this is something hardcore and the best of both worlds